Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I want to take a look at WebEx Teams and specifically take a look at the markdown uh, text formatting that's part of the Teams client. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, let's dive in and check it out firsthand. So to get started, you want to jump into really any space you have open in WebEx Teams. I have a markdown space created just for this demonstration. You will see in the control panel down here at the bottom or your list of options, there is a text formatting option. Uh, it should be enabled. If it is not, ensure that the box is checked. You will see there are some markdown formats shown here to uh, make life easy for you. And we're just going to give a few of these a try. And then I'm actually going to talk about how you can escape them to show the, the characters from a literal perspective as well. All right, first of all, let's try a just a uh, sample sample line so we have something to compare to. So there it is. Now let's try bolding. Cool, so you see the difference there. Uh, let's try an italics. Likewise, uh, maybe let's see if we can combine them. So there we have bolded italics. Uh, let's see what else we have to offer. There are, again, the documentation is right here, so it's very easy to come in and get some uh, examples to follow. Let's try a list. Item one, item, item two, All right? So a numbered list that is indented. Heading one, heading two, so on and so forth. Probably one that I find pretty useful is the link option. So if you want to make a link and you have a really long URL that comes after it, I'm not going to type a really long URL, but we'll uh, we'll do something like that. You do the link, what you want displayed in square brackets, and then the URL itself is in parentheses. You hover over the link, you see that the link is uh, clickable and you can navigate to that to that page. Now, the other options are all pretty straightforward. Probably one that I'm also a big fan of and, and use quite a bit is the code block. Let me show you that real quick. And that is three back ticks, your code, right? Line one, line two, and then you close it with back ticks. And it actually puts the code, right? So if you're writing a script or you're working with someone on that, back ticks, it uh, has a gray background and it has the line numbers. So if you want to reference the whole block of code, but need to reference a specific line number, you're able to do that much more easily. Now, the next question is, I can format text this way, but what if I need to key something in that takes that format, right? And maybe I don't want a heading, but I want to, you know, use the uh, the hash symbol and, and have something written after it, right? So in that case, heading, right, it's bolded. How do I escape that so it doesn't do that if I need to, you know, illustrate maybe how to use Markdown to someone? Well, in most languages, the backslash is the escape character. So we can actually go ahead and escape just like that. So this heading and this heading uh, are exactly the same thing. I typed the exact same thing in, except I used a backslash to escape the hash sign. This also works from a code perspective. So if I wanted to uh, escape the uh, back tick, or I'm sorry, escape the code that I uh, that I put here, and I want to show the back ticks, same type of thing. Simply escape them with the backslash character. Now I can escape backslashes with other backslashes. And you see I typed four, I get two because it is literally escaped. Play around with this a bit. There's obviously uh, quite a bit you can do with this to format text and uh, you know kind of il help illustrate your point as you're communicating with your team. Um, but that's it, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, the documentation is, is all there with examples. So uh, yeah, dive in and check it out. I hope you found that helpful. If you have other questions or comments, even your own tips or tricks, by all means, let me know. Check out the comment section below and leave some of that information there. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you back sometime soon.